Hello everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central and this week I'm talking about math practice with an emphasis on practice. I could make the what six to eight minute video by just repeating practice, 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 <laughs> but I won't do that. It's a bit boring. Uh, but it is so important. I can't overemphasize how important it is to keep practicing. This works for anything but particularly math where you need to build one concept upon another, get a really strong foundation. And how do you do that? Well, first of all, if you're taking math class now, you need to practice the current math that you're doing, whether that's perimeter and area, fractions, trigonometry, whatever you're doing. But you also need to go back to some previous units and practice a few questions from there. So you can take old questions that you've already done and you already know are correct. You can rewrite the question without looking at the answers. Do all the steps from beginning to end and then check back and see if you got the correct answer. If you didn't, you can go back through the work that you did previously, see where did I go wrong, where did I make a mistake, and try a new question or a new series of questions. And you keep revolving, so you keep going back several units do some current math, go back another unit, do some current math, so that you're constantly practicing current math, but also things that you've done in the past. I had a student recently with a math test, didn't do so well, how do I improve? I can never remember math. Well, we normally don't remember things that we didn't fully understand, that's another point. If you didn't completely understand it in the first place, if you were just simply following a pattern, which is okay at the beginning, but you're unlikely to remember that for long. So try to understand how the math is working, why do we use uh, various math operations, and learn the patterns, of course, and learn how to do the calculations, but repetition is also important. Whether or not you understand the concepts, that repetition is still important. The more you practice, and eventually the concepts will come as well. So sometimes, and I actually just heard a memory expert talk about this, sometimes you memorize just to memorize. Um, I've sometimes said you need to understand before you can remember. I do believe that's true, but in math sometimes we need to go forward and just keep going back and forward until those concepts begin to become clearer for us. So sometimes we have to memorize just to memorize. Uh, sometimes students memorize their times tables, for example, before they fully grasp the concept of how they're working. So that's what I want you to do. When you're working on math, try the question yourself first, after the teacher has taught it, of course. By Obviously, you can use the uh, information and examples in your textbook or online. Try the question yourself first, though. If you really, really can't get it, then ask the teacher or another student or a tutor or your parent for help. Then try the question again by yourself from beginning to end. Because the truth is, you don't know the math unless you can do it all by yourself from beginning to end. In the meantime, you still need help. And on a test, you're not going to get that help. So that's why it's very, very important for you to be able to eventually do the questions on your own. So don't ask for help right away. Then when you do, try the question again. Also, you can look online. There are a lot of helpful videos that will walk you step, step by step through the questions and show you exactly uh, what to do and in some cases also why or what the concept is as well. So you can also do that. And uh, take your old math tests find out where you went wrong on those tests. The questions you did well, you can practice again because you have the correct answer. Hopefully, you can get the correct answers from your teacher. Sometimes they don't want to release those. But if they do, then you can use those on the difficult questions. Otherwise, ask the teacher if he or she can explain those questions to you so that you can practice them at home. And then, uh, it may not be this year or this semester, but next year, the new math that you're learning is going to be built upon the old math. 
that you've already learned or supposedly learned. So you still need to know that math. It's not finished next year. Uh, grade 10 math is going to be built upon grade 9 math, for example. So just because I got through this year doesn't mean you're ready for next year. I had a student who was really happy because he got 52% on his grade 9 math. Uh, it, not the exam, but the final mark was 52%. Okay, but that means that you basically know about half of the material now. After the summer holidays, and if you don't have math the first semester, there's an even longer break, you will have lost some of that. So you're probably going into grade 10 math with 30 or 40 percent, and I'm being optimistic, uh, of the material you should know. So it's not such a great thing uh, to get 52 percent without the extra practice. Now, if you really dedicate yourself through the period when you're not doing math, then you can raise those scores. So the idea is practice, practice, practice as often as you can. If you want more tips, get in touch. Uh, you can ask me a question here or you can check out the website. I'll put a link below. Uh, I also have uh, a fractions course on Udemy. I'll put the link for that below. Check out the blog. I'll have a link there as well. You can uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll see uh, uh, other videos of mine as well. You can check out the other videos that are already here. But in the meantime, enjoy math. That's the other point I almost forgot. Be positive. You can do it. Uh, a lot of students convince themselves, I can't do math. They'll stare at it. They'll convince themselves that the math is going to conquer them rather than the other way around. Math is just numbers and symbols and operations. Once you learn how to use them, it will always give you the correct answer. It will not lie to you. It will not trick you. It's not one of those subjects. It's, it's very objective. It's not a very subjective subject. So I know it's tricky, but once you get it, once you understand how to do it, it will always work for you. So don't give up. Keep trying. It's Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. Have a great week. I will see you next week.